Hello everyone, Crounder here, and today we're asking the ultimate question for any PC enthusiast. What's the best way to run your GPU? Are you a fan of maximum power, pushing your card to its absolute limit with an overclock? Or are you a believer in maximum efficiency, getting the best performance per watt with a careful undervolt? Today, we're putting the powerful RTX 5070 through the ultimate torture test, ARC Survival Ascended, to see which method comes out on top. To keep things consistent, all our tests are running on the medium graphics preset. And I have to say, the amount of hidden potential you can unlock in both directions is genuinely surprising. We're going to check out all three major resolutions, so let's jump right into the numbers, starting with 4K. Okay, kicking things off at 2160p. For this test, we're on the medium preset with DLSS set to performance, and of course, frame generation is enabled to make these numbers possible. The overclock is the undisputed king of raw frames, pushing an impressive 92 FPS on average. That's a solid 10% jump over the stock 83.7. But it comes at a cost. We're pulling 236 watts, and the GPU is hitting 63 degrees Celsius. But here's where it gets fascinating. The undervolt? It delivers 83.1 FPS, which is basically identical to stock performance, but it's only using 167 watts. That's almost 50 watts less power for the same experience, and the card is running at a chilly 55 degrees. That is absolutely insane efficiency. Now let's drop down to 1440p. Again, we're on the medium preset and also using DLSS performance here. The overclock dominates the charts with almost 83 FPS. A nice boost from the stock 75, pulling 200 watts to do it. And the undervolt story continues. We're seeing 75 FPS again, basically identical to stock, but at just 141 watts versus the stock 183. That's over 40 watts saved, while well, the card runs at a super cool 53 degrees. It's also worth noting the 1% lows here. The undervolt actually gives us slightly better stability than stock, which could mean a smoother feeling experience. Finally, at 1080p, we're sticking with the medium preset, but switching to DLSS quality for the best possible image clarity. The story is much the same. The overclock peaks at 84 FPS at 194 watts. The undervolt trails just slightly at 77 FPS, but sips power at only 138 watts. So what's the final verdict from all this? Honestly, there isn't one clear winner. It's up to you. If you have incredible cooling, a beefy power supply, and you want every single last frame possible, then the overclock is your champion, no question. But if you value efficiency, a cooler and quieter system, and want to get 98% of the performance for much less power, then the undervolt is an absolutely incredible choice. It really comes down to what you value more, pure frame rate or temperature and power efficiency. The choice is yours. If this helped you out, smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and let me know in the comments which method you prefer.